<laughs> As you probably are aware, uh, this weekend is St. Patrick's Day, a day when people who aren't, don't applaud yet. <laughs> this is my serious face, right? That's correct. As you know, uh, St. Patrick's Day is, uh, uh, there's a lot of uh, irresponsible drinking goes on. And uh, CBS doesn't want you to do that, so... Uh... Well, let me just do the PSA and then we can get on with it, all right? All right. This Patrick's Day, try and have a good family time, but drink responsibly. <laughs> CBS cares. Now, having said that, I never, we, you know, when I was drinking, I never really went nuts on St. Patrick's Day. Anyway, it was, it was like one, it was like, uh, when I, you know, because I was so crazy drinking, then people would go, oh, it's St. Patrick's Day. Like, it was like uh, New Year's Eve. Like, everyone gets drunk. I'm like, oh, tourists. <laughs> and you know, it was the same, you know, when people play drinking games, they're like, oh, right, every time something happens, it's a drinking game. I'm like, drinking is not a game. Schnitzel. <laughs> It's not a game. It's, when I'm doing it, it's not a game. It's serious. Oh, every time that thing hits me, we'll drink. No, let's just drink. Right, Jeff? Yeah, if you're going to drink, drink. Yeah, if you're going to drink, drink. You're going to play a game, go to, uh-oh, sports center. <laughs> Craig, are you cussing? Yeah, yeah, you know what? It's St. Patrick's Day weekend. Cussing is allowed on television. <laughs> no? Why is he being so harsh to me? The hell, man? Why are you being so harsh to me? It's almost like in the future I'm going to mock you. <laughs> I have a plan to mock him. After this commercial break, I'm going to mock Michael mercilessly. <laughs> Don't applaud, it's not going to be pretty. He's going to start crying, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Don't, how can you applaud that? <laughs> Tonight's audience are monsters. <laughs> we'll be right back. Sponsored by Advil. Make the switch to Advil now. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. But today is Friday. That, I have to say, that was Michael's joke. And we've been working on this show for nine years. That was his first joke. He said, hey, you know how we did yesterday's show and it was Pi Day? Well, today is Friday. I was like, that's, that's, I was like, that, that is a great joke, Michael. <laughs> And now, I can, hey, can you, you know that thing where you can read uh, my thoughts? Yeah, yeah. Do you think yeah, I can do that, you can do that with sure, Michael's sure, thoughts? Sure. All right, see if you can do that with Michael's thoughts. I'm very pleased with myself. <laughs> that was a very good joke. Soon I'll be standing in Jeff's position. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, it's the last show ever, everybody. <laughs> Which means it's a great day for America. Yeah. No. It is. It is. Right, it is Friday, of course, not Pi Day, Friday. It's a great day for most of America, but not a great day for Florida. Scientists say that Florida is facing an invasion of super mosquitoes. They are extra large mosquitoes that lay dormant for many years, and they don't even wait for dusk. They start feeding in the middle of the afternoon. That's right, old people, this year you're the early bird special. <laughs> hey, they're sucking on my bunions. Kind of enjoying it. <laughs> it is, of course, not only Friday, not only the day after Pi Day, but it is the March the 15th, uh, known as the Ides of March. The Ides of March. No, no, not you. I was waiting for the dinner. This is the bit where we get to go, ooh. No! Let, let me tell you, there is no bit where you get to go, ooh. Unless I say, go ooh, go ooh. ooh. No! <laughs> anyway, it's the Ides of March. Good. I didn't say go ooh! Do we have a graphic then for the Ides of March? Oh. What's that coming I got? Yeah, you What? Knock it off! Knock it off! The desperate warm-up comedian clapping in front of people to make them clap. Like, clap! Clap! Clap or I'll be fired! <laughs> Come on, everybody! Give me thunder! <laughs> oh. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> anyway, it's the... It's the I <laughs> It's the Ides of March. You know that saying, beware of the Ides of March. It means today you have to be extra careful to avoid a disaster. Although if you're watching this show, you clearly did not heed the warnings. <laughs> the Romans used to celebrate the Ides of March with a giant military parade, people throwing flowers, live music, huge crowds. It was like a parade in West Hollywood, but with fewer gladiators. <laughs> Thanks for people who know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you could probably go ooh now if you wanted it. Oh, too late. Anyway, Julius, Julius Caesar was assassinated on the Ides of March. He was stabbed in the back by someone he thought was a friend. It was like he worked in show business. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea that they're sitting back there. The guy that's got the da-da button going, I don't know, do I do it now? Yeah. yeah. I do, I'm a, will I do the dinner or not the dinner? I don't know. I don't know what the hell is going on. I don't know what's going on anymore. I wish it was Pi Day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we really must try and do a monologue one night. I, I, I think it'd be awesome. Yeah, it was, it was Pi Day yesterday. It's Friday today. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Julian. <laughs> Julius Caesar, uh, uh, yes, historians say that Julius Caesar brought his ruin upon himself. He illegally seized power from the Roman Senate. Then he proclaimed himself the dictator for life. And worst of all, he decided to put um, anchovies in salad dressing. <laughs> the Senate were like, you've gone too far, Caesar. <laughs> no, I think it'd be a great idea. We'll put, we'll put anchovies, it's like, like pie day, but with fish. <laughs> What we'll do is we'll get little tiny fish and we'll put them in the dressing. You know, because not every day is pie day. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I'm punishing Michael so much for making a helpful suggestion. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm, uh, I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> anyway, you know, this is, here's a story about Julius Caesar. When he was a teenager, he was captured by pirates, and they held him for ransom. But Caesar was so charming, uh, you know, and was clever, they spared his life. And once his ransom was paid, he was freed. And then he captured all, every one of those pirates, and he crucified them all. I know. <laughs> and the pirates' last words as they were dying were, Arr. <laughs> and that, that how pirate language started. They were like, what are these pirates saying? They're going, ah! 
I made that last bit up. But this is a true story. Anyway, look, Julius Caesar was romantically involved with Cleopatra for many years, but he never asked her to marry him. Cleopatra felt uh, betrayed, and she spent years whining about it in public and public mourning. That's why she is known by historians as the Egyptian Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Anyway, after he dumped Cleopatra, there were rumours that Julius Fe Caesar, Julius Caesar, completely different guy, Julius Caesar fathered an illegitimate child by a housemaid, but these rumours turned out to be false. It was actually his distant cousin, Julius Schwarzenegger. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. I... Yeah, I think I'm done here. That's it? You're good? Yeah, well, not good. I think good's a reach, but, uh, <laughs> but I, think, I think we've reached a point in the show where we could legitimately claim to have filled enough time to warrant another commercial break. All right. You want me to uh, take us to a uh, commercial? Why are you uh, talking like that? No. <laughs> no, why, why, why are you talking like that? Or like everything sort of like, why? Uh, why? Kind of why? Hey, hey, I've got an idea. Yeah. Let's see if I can read your mind when, uh, when the camera's on you and I, I'll, I'll do that thing. Uh, all right. All right. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I should uh, do the commercial. Oh. <laughs> I hate Ferguson with his skin and internal organs. That was very accurate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go to the commercial break. Go. Tonight's program is brought to you by Julius Caesar's Sausage Link. Stab hunger in the back at two bratwurst. <laughs> Tonight, we're just going crazy. It's the Ides of March. We're going crazy. It's out of control. Yeah. Here's the thing. You know when I was talking earlier on, and I had this little sparkly hat on for St. Patrick's Day. Well, apparently, I've been informed by Michael, who's the producer of the show, and very important, and in no way mocked by me or Jeff. <laughs> that uh, he said, he said, when you were doing that, there were little sparkles in your hair from the hat. There's little sparkles in your hair from the hat. Which is actually a problem for me, because when I go home, it'll look like I've been at a strip club. Because there'll be sparkles on me. I think I've cleverly set myself up to actually go to a strip club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, and I get home, I can say, what are you talking about? I was just wearing that little hat. Yeah, no, no yeah, I, I yeah. saw, I saw it on the show, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I, are you doing my wife's voice? No, no, I'm just... Do it again, do it again. Yeah, no, yeah, sure. That's a bit what she sounds yeah, like, Yeah, all right, actually. all right. I was just throwing it out there, just guessing. <laughs> all right, uh, what time is it, Jeffrey Pierce? It's street mail time. Time to take advice from a man who has sparkles in his hair and in no way was at a strip club. Let's do our thing. You ready? All right, yeah. All right, then. It's uh, tweets and emails for St. Patrick's Day. All right. The tweets and the emails. Oh, the tweets and the emails. Oh, the tweets and the emails. Oh, the tweets and the emails. <laughs> uh, well, no way. No, 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 no. You know what's good? Again? Again, my eye is drawn to the one gentleman who's sitting up there going, I'm not applauding for that. That's sacre bleu. That is Lingenberry. There is no way I'm applauding for that. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm with you. Uh, all right, this is from Alec in Greensburg in uh, Pennsylvania. He says, uh, Dear Craig and Jeff, or Dear Craig, I've heard that Jeff can be a real diva when he's off camera. Is this true? That's ridiculous. <laughs> Nothing can be further than Jeff is a, he's a very lovely man. That's very Aren't true. You? Where the hell is my coffee? Yeah. <laughs> this is from Mandy in Roanoke in uh, Massachusetts. It says, Dear Craig and Jeff, how much does Secretariat cost you a month in carrots, hay, and sugar cubes? Uh, let me try and explain to this you uh, uh, in a language that you understand. Not a real I got a horse. <laughs> I think that's fine. 
people are like, oh, it's all right. It really is. No, it's not. <laughs> it's something else entirely. <laughs> right, Jeff? Yeah, it's, uh, it's not sugar cubes, hay, or carrots. It's cocaine that we're concerned about. <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot. That horse has got a problem. Hey, look at that. Look at that again. <laughs> all right, all right. That's enough. That's enough. Man, it's like that. It's like that movie where Al Pacino was in. What was that movie again? That one, you know, that one. Scarface. Scent of a Woman. Scarface. Scarface, Scarface. yeah. Scarface, you know when he has all that cocaine? Yeah, a lot of cocaine. Yeah, that was what it was like with the horse there. Yeah. <laughs> Were you trying to say, say hello to my little friend? Oh, I see, okay. This is from Jamie in Redlands, California. Dear Craig and Jeff, we love Megan Mullally. Could you ask her why she's not tweeting? <laughs> Yeah, she, she'll be out in a little while. I, I will. I'll, I'll, I'll. She's not here yet. Don't, don't, don't understand that. Look, people say, oh, he's going to be here in a minute, and everyone applauds. Yeah, well, he's not here. He can't hear you. You're wasting your applause. What the hell is wrong with you? I don't know. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> I'm sure I heard from the studio audience there, I've gone off him. I've gone, I've gone off him. I liked him, but he's gone surly. <laughs> When you did that, you looked like a hundred-year-old conductor of an orchestra. guest tonight is a very talented and funny actress. Uh, her new series, Out There, airs Friday's on uh, IFC. May I say yes, how please. absolutely charming it is that your shoes and your dress are the same fabric? Somebody backstage said you were going to love that, and they were right. I do love it. I, I think it's very unusual. It's almost like a uniform of some kind. It's my new uniform, yes. Matching you, dress and shoes. Do you, uh, Somebody said to me, oh my God, how would you find shoes to match that dress? I was like, well, it's the same person. That, it's not just an accident. That's like crazy fabric just happened to be on the shoes, too. <laughs> That would be a better story. You were like, I happened to be in Paris. I saw the shoes. I was like, oh! <laughs> yeah. Was it a designer idea? The designer said, I'm going to do the whole thing? Or did you say, I want the shoes no. made? No, oh, and God, no. No, the, de oh. The designer, uh... <laughs> These legs are catnip for actresses. I know. Go oh, on, right. help yourself. They're crazy. Yeah. I know, I know. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. right. Ooh. That knee's pointing right at you. Yeah, yeah, baby. It's saying you're the one yeah, for baby. tonight. Can I ask you why you're not tweeting anymore? <coughs> um, well, I think Twitter is so dumb. <laughs> the, the... But I do have a Twitter. I've never had a Twitter for me. My name's Megan. Yeah, I, I know. I'm just oh, tearing this. I, tear I know. This. I want to tear it in littler pieces. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go on, then. Tear away. <laughs> not so easy, is no, it? No, it's not. It's hard. It's I've got very like strong eight. fingers. I, uh, so I've heard. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I have a Twitter for my band, Nancy and Beth. But, um, oh, yay, that's, that's Nancy and... and 
<laughs> you have a back. band? I have a band called Nancy and Beth, and um, it's been so fun. So I started a Twitter for that and a Facebook, yeah. but I don't have a personal one, but I have people that say they're me and say, like, pithy things, you know, like, <laughs> it's just stupid stuff. Yeah, I no, I, I see, you've got to be careful with it. What happens is, with the Twitter, you, I'm sorry for doing that, by the way. <laughs> oh, it's okay. No, I mean, I realized... <laughs> I realized as I was talking to you, I I'd done that. That's okay. And I thought, oh, if I was just I a couple that. of feet nearer. I get that a lot, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is yeah. some kind of like pervy Dracula. Because uh. like, uh, normal Dracula isn't pervy at all. No, not at all. Uh, uh, so anyway, no, I was thinking that, you know, the Twitter, you just got to block people. You know, when they're mean to you, just block them. Or even if they ask a question or even talk to you at all, just block them. <laughs> well, it's been a good selling tool for, get, you know, selling tickets to the shows for the band, but but like for personal stuff, why do I? I know, I know, I I feel the same way. I kind of come and go with it. Some I liked it, and then I'm like, mm, I'm not so sure. People can be very mean, but some people are very nice. And then I go like, oh, and then I'm, oh. it's like I, I'm I like. Dee -dee -dee. If I see Dee -dee. anything mean, if I see anything say any, <clears throat> see anything mean about myself anywhere on the internet, I have to be like institutionalized. I know, I, I I can't hate, take it. Can't, I know, I hate it as well. And I I used to Google myself. Oh, oh God, don't, never. Uh, don't do that. Never I, you, I never read the comments about anything, oh, no, no, even no. if you're not involved. No. Like if it's comments, uh, like it's a news story about, you know, uh, I don't know, a guy found a fish, and then you read the comments and halfway through it'll go, Craig Ferguson's a jerk! And you're like, <laughs> oh my God, I totally had that happen! Yeah, like, how, how do, why am I even involved I, in this? I you totally suck, you Scotty, suck, sucky suck! I'm like, God! <laughs> exact same thing where I was looking at something completely unrelated to me and like hit a link and it's like Megan Mullally is the worst actress in the world. I'm like, what? How did I get there from like reading an article about... I don't know. What was that? Was it porn? Yeah. 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 Porn, yeah. It, yeah. Was my porn, it was my porn acting they were calling into question. I would severely doubt that. I think that you're... I see you're doing that holding your chin thing. Yeah. I like that. You like that. I, that's I like that, but not moves. as much as I like this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah Is this, that the guard? one of my porn moves. Yeah, I yeah. like it. Yeah. yeah, it's really very effective. That, mm, really? Yeah. Tell me about your band. I don't know anything about your band. Oh, it's called Nancy and Beth. Yes, and that's... Yeah. Look, that's the only thing... Nancy. Hey, Nancy. Uh, all right, all right. Uh. I, I, that's the only thing I know about the band. But are you... Is it bluegrass? Is it's it, everything. It's like a little bit of everything. Um, uh, yeah, all, all different genres. And, and we do all covers, and uh, it's myself and this young actress named Stephanie Hunt. She was on Friday Night Lights and Californication, and she and I sing in harmony, and, and we do a lot of choreography, which I think you would love. I think I would. Yeah, I saw some of your do you wear Do you wear little outfits? We do wear little outfits, yeah. We get dressed up kind of funny, crazy. Where would I get to see some of this? <laughs> Well, um, we're oh, performing that, in San Francisco. Oh, do that well again. Do on, that well again. Well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we get some every time. Um, yeah. We're performing you, you in San Francisco. You combine that well with that. Seconds. You got yeah. something right there. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be at the um, Sasquatch Music Festival, and we're performing next Friday night on the, the 22nd in San Francisco. Sasquatch Music Festival? I know. Isn't that weird? It sounds... Well, I know that Sasquatch is supposed to be a monster, but it sounds kind of dirty, like like a. Ooh la la! Oh. Doesn't it? <laughs> think about it. I'm trying to think if there's ever in my life been anything that I've seen in this area that reminded me remotely of a Sasquatch. <laughs> You know, uh, you know, long time ago. Way yeah, back. College, yeah, way, way back. Yeah, I had a Sasquatch or two in my day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, it's I hear you. more the sound of the word than the actual being. I've never seen a Sasquatch. <laughs> Neither have I. In the woods. <laughs> See? That's rubbish. <laughs> uh, listen, um, we have to take a commercial break. How do you feel? I don't want to take one. I don't think they're optional. It's not. Right, okay. I right. think you just have if to. We take have them. to. Yeah, I think legally, right. uh, if we don't take it, what are you doing? I was just making sure everything was, you know, the way you like it. Everything's just fine. <laughs> All right, we'll take a break. We'll be right back with Megan Mullally. I know. Yeah. 
Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. I'm here with Megan Mullally. She was just showing me her uh, necklace and stuff. It's nice. <laughs> it's nice. I polished it up just for you. I don't know if that. You're still means. talking about the necklace? I don't know. No. Okay. No, I'm not. So, were you ever a problem drinker? <laughs> <laughs> I am wasted right now. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Hey, uh, are you in therapy? I think we should do some therapy. Oh, okay. I'd All right, right. I'm the therapist. Okay. And you're Megan Mullally. I'd love that. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Tell me your feelings about breakfast cereal. Oh, um, I think breakfast cereal is very important. I see. So what you're saying is that the little Cheerios remind you of a vagina. <laughs> Not so much a vagina as a sasquatch. That's what I thought you'd say. <laughs> well, we're out of time. No. Uh, I'm not leaving. Well, I never said you had to leave. I just said we're out of time, right? Well, uh, do you fancy uh, awkward pause? Um, blow the mouth organ? Oh, uh, you can wail on that, that baby. You're going to have to sit in with Nancy and Beth on the harmonica and really? dance. And do some dancing. Yeah, let's hear it. Let's hear the gold. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Mega Malala, everybody. Fantastic actress. She stars in Community, which is a fantastic show, and Thursday nights on ABC. Uh, ABC it should be on ABC, but it's an NBC. <laughs> I look forward to your outrage. <laughs> Take a look at that. Alison Brie, everybody. I play drums like this. this drums of play drums, play the drums and do the guitar. <laughs> okay, and I'll do air uh, recorder. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Is that the recorder dance? Yeah. You raise that's a, the roof? When you go into the club with the recorder, you're like, <laughs> oh. and there everyone's like, how are you? Are you okay? You were meant to be here last week and you had to cancel because you were so sick. I was so sick. You look fabulously healthy now, I have well. to tell you. You're, you're really blooming. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Speaking of blooming, I received some lovely flowers for you. I said flowers because you. You, were, you were sick. The card uh, said, feel better, come see us soon, love Greg. I just assumed they were from you. Yeah, they were. Sometimes I write Greg in case people think it's from me. <laughs> what the hell, man? Can't even spell my name? <laughs> I thought maybe that was your new nickname. Like, yeah, I just it is. Me, I'm it like, is. Greg. I'm like, hey, the ladies call me Greg. <laughs> How you doing? Want to touch my knee? Oh, yeah, I saw that. A lot yeah, of no. knee play tonight. Yeah, yeah. You know, Ooh, look at that. Multiple so. finger knee play. Actually doing that's getting <laughs> I was like, I was like messing around, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, this is got, actually got getting through. I'm Get, yeah, <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, my normal steely guard is falling. <laughs> I'm breaking you down. How uh, you can if you want. What is the uh, what's going on at community? Everything all right? Everything fine? Yeah, it's great. Why would you think that anything was wrong? <laughs> No idea. It's uh, it's a great it's a great show. You know I love that show. It's fantastic. I love all you. I think you guys are fantastic and the the things and the stuff and then oh, uh, that that encapsulates the show perfectly. I feel like that. Is it's a good show. Synopsis. Come on, it's Thanks. a good show. No, I really love I love working on the show. I'm so glad it's back on the air. We have a lot of Changnesia. We just saw in the clips some good <laughs> Changnesia stuff happening. Everybody loves a little good yeah. Ching. I'm you, why do you keep doing that to me? You're, you're you. freaking me out. I'm it's putting spells on you. Yeah, you've already done that. <laughs> you did that when you did the knee. Yeah. That's why you see me move back you like did, that. You did, yeah, yeah. Crawling away. You're no, no, the I have. The distance is hurting me. It, no, it's listen. It has to be. <laughs> Fair enough. No, no, it's, I'll it's just not, lean. Don't lean. That could be worse. <laughs> no, no, I'll come back. 
<laughs> I'll come back. Everything's fine. What was wrong with you, by the way? Was it some kind of horrible I, wasting disease? Yeah, you know, it was the weirdest thing. You know, Gillian Jacobs came. No. What? No. 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 <laughs> oh, Gillian, Gillian came and, uh, and took your place. Yeah, she did. Yeah, I was getting ready to come, and I was just fully dressed and ready, feeling great. And then I got this mysterious package in the mail from Gillian. And Oh, I see. <laughs> did it contain edible stuff? It was anthrax. It was, it was anthrax? <laughs> I got anthrax once. Did, did you? Think you? It, yeah, no, for real. I still please. have one. Really? Yeah. What? Yes, what happens it? when you're anthraxed? I, well, you get this. I, it wasn't real anthrax. I mean, I know because it happened to me. But also. Right, 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 right. But <laughs> somebody sent uh, some powders to the studio and they said, uh, oh, take this, Ferguson. It's anthrax for you or something. And it wasn't. It was like, you know, baby powder. But, <laughs> but they sent a helicopter. And I was like, that'll blow the anthrax <laughs> everywhere. What the hell are you doing? They're like, oh, we're just looking for the guy who sent the anthrax. Like, He's not here. <laughs> Like he's just waiting with his little Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's we'll see. Happen. Well, this helicopter's going to blow it everywhere. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm glad he labeled it anthrax so you I do. I don't think it was real anthrax. It wasn't real anthrax. Well. But now you, that's it. Don't trust Gillian Jacobs. <laughs> I don't think it was her. I don't think she, no, no, I think she was just being a good and loyal friend, you know, you were sick and she took your place. It was wonderful. Yeah, that's nice. But you never told me what it was. It was a digestive thing? Like Her Majesty the Queen was ill. Well, really? Yeah, recently she had gastroenteritis, perhaps. That was what I had. Really? Probably. Have you spent much time in the company of Her Majesty the Queen? Yes. I see. So... So that was it. Did you make out with the Queen? Look, I can't say yes, but I won't say no. <laughs> nope, that's not working for me. The, uh, the, 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 that worked a great deal. Yeah. The queen, the yeah, and the lean, really when you leaned, I was like, yeah! The but the, okay, but they lean, make it, good, queen, no way. Well, that, that queen. No, yeah, go ahead. Hey, so what about uh, what about the basketball? You follow that? You know, I'm a Clippers fan. What? Wait, wait, what? wait. That's not college basketball. I'm talking about college basketball. Oh, no. Did you go to college? Yeah. Oh, great. Where did you go? <laughs> I went to Cal Arts, California Institute of the Arts. Right, great. And you studied acting? I studied theater. Right. Theater, it's acting, both. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know they were different. What happens? Well, you know, there are other things in the theater department. Stage oh, right. management. Stage management, yeah. Okay. Costumes. Costumes? Yeah. I mean, they were great. I'd like... <laughs> I'd like to dress up in some costumes. Like what? Mmm... Serving wench. Oh, I could see it. I could see it. I re really? recently... I wore some good Merkins as a costume with Megan Mullally, who was the first guest tonight, in case you forgot. You're talking about a Merkin? These people clearly don't know what a Merkin is. You don't think they know? Oh, they don't know because they sat there and went... <laughs> Whereas I, who know what a Merkin is, went, oh, God. <laughs> a Merkin is a pubic wig. <laughs> exactly. Oh, I think there was such a disappointment. Yeah, oh, we thought it was something exciting. <laughs> We thought it was a rocket or something. You were. Why were you wearing? It was me, Megan, her husband Nick Offerman, all in just. What the hell? What are you people Merkins. doing? We we I, I I recorded with her with her band that she was talking about their first single, which is called Weed, and I don't think I can say the word, but it rhymes with. Crikey dingo! Yes. It rhymes with. <laughs> Perfect. It rhymes with, so it, it rhymes that. with wussy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It rhymes with. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I get it. Tootsie fruits. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what's so it's the name of the song? Talk. The name of the song is a song about we, we Von Trapp. You said it, but then when I said it, it felt wrong. <laughs> Didn't feel wrong to me. <laughs> We're back. We're back. No, no, I'm, I'm getting further and further back in the chair. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, no. No, no, good. Hmm. Just, just be here. D don't, don't lean. I'm just, I'm, I scoot 
scooted. I scooted. You, you scooted and then leaned a little bit. I did. And then and you're leaning again. You're leaning again now. You're leaning and tilting. All right, well, we're out of time anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, want, fancy an awkward pause? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You're not invited. This is a two-person awkward pause. All right, uh, awkward pause with or without mouth organ? With. Okay. Do you want to blow or shall I? No, maybe without because it's, it'll be more awkward. Okay. <laughs> I feel I've lost control of what's going on here. I can go all night, you know. <laughs> Jeffrey, I wonder if you could answer a question for me, honestly. Yes, what is that, my old friend? Well, during the interview segment with the rather charming uh, Alison Brie, Man. I think I may have inadvertently glanced at her breasts. I think you and about a billion other people. But what I'm worried about, Jeffrey, is that mm, was I in any way inappropriate? <laughs> Does a Sasquatch defecate in the woods? You raise an interesting question. For I'm not sure if a Sasquatch exists. <laughs> Therefore, if said creature does not exist, then perhaps defecation would be tricky. I've learned quite a bit here this evening, Mr. Ferguson. Really? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Do you know, I stand at this fire some nights and try and warm my testicles, don't they? They don't seem to be getting any warmer. Per perhaps uh, you should throw a log in the fire, Mr. Ferguson. All right, then. <laughs> it's not going to get too hot for you, is it? No, I'll be fine. All right, then. But today is Friday. That, I have to say, that was Michael's joke. And we've been working on this show for nine years. That was his first joke. He said, hey, you know how we did yesterday's show and it was Pi Day? Well, today is Friday. I was like, that's, that's, I was like, that, that is a great joke, Michael. <laughs> 
And now I can, hey, can you, you know that thing where you can read uh, my thoughts? Yeah, yeah. Do you think yeah, I can do that? You could do that with sure, Michael sure, Stutz? Sure. All right, see if you can do that with Michael Stutz. I'm very pleased with myself. <laughs> a very good joke. Soon I'll be standing in Jeff's position. <laughs> <laughs> As you probably are aware, uh, this weekend is St. Patrick's Day, a day when people who aren't, don't applaud yet. <laughs> this is my serious face, right? That's correct. As you know, uh, St. Patrick's Day is, uh, uh, there's a lot of uh, irresponsible drinking goes on. <laughs> and uh, CBS doesn't want you to do that, so... Uh, Do the PSA and then we can get on with it, all right? All right. This Patrick's Day, try and have a good family time, but drink responsibly. <laughs> CBS cares. Now, having said that, I never, we, you know, when I was drinking, I never really went nuts on St. Patrick's Day anyway. It was, it was like one, it was like, uh, when I, you know, because I was so crazy drinking, then people would go, oh, it's St. Patrick's Day. Like, it was like uh, New Year's Eve. Like, everyone gets drunk. I'm like, oh, tourists. <laughs> and, you know, it was the same. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> well, it's the last show ever, everybody. <laughs> Which means it's a great day for America. Yeah. No, it is, it is, fri it is Friday, of course, not Pi Day, Friday. <laughs> it's a great day for most of America, but not a great day for Florida. Scientists say that Florida is facing an invasion of super mosquitoes. They are extra large mosquitoes that lay dormant for many years, and they don't even wait for dusk. They start feeding in the middle of the afternoon. <laughs> That's right, old people, this year, you're the early bird special. <laughs> They're sucking on my bunions. <laughs> kind of enjoying it. <laughs> it is, of course, not only Friday, not only the day after Pi Day, but it is the March the 15th, uh, known as the Ides of March. <laughs> the Ides of March. <laughs> no, no, not you. I was waiting for the dinner. <laughs> This is the bit where we get to go, ooh. You know when people play drinking games? They're like, all oh, right, every time something happens, it's a drinking game. I'm like, drinking is not a game. Schnitzel. <laughs> it's not a game. It's, when I'm doing it, it's not a game. It's serious. Oh, every time that thing hits me, we'll drink. No, let's just drink. <laughs> Right, Jeff? Yeah, if you're gonna drink, drink. Yeah, if you're gonna drink, drink. You're gonna play a game, go to uh -oh. Sports Center. <laughs> Craig, are you cussing? Yeah, yeah, you know what? It's St. Patrick's Day weekend. Cussing is allowed on television. <laughs> no? Why is he being so harsh to me? The hell, man? Why are you being so harsh to me? It's almost like in the future I'm going to mock you. <laughs> I have a plan to mock him. <laughs> After this commercial break, I'm going to mock Michael mercilessly. <laughs> Don't applaud, it's not going to be pretty. <laughs> He's going to start crying, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Don't, how can you applaud that? <laughs> Tonight's audience are monsters. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Ferguson, sponsored by Advil. Make the switch to Advil now. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig 
Ferguson. 